Yo, what's going on guys, boy Ooch, and of course, we are back again, once again, how y'all doing today? Alright everybody, I know it's been a bit since we've done a Boruto reaction, but um, I did want to come back and do them just because, you know, like I said in my Dragon Ball Super video, and if you haven't watched that, please go ahead and check it out. And if you are coming from that video, welcome back for another video, and I really do appreciate y'all being here. And uh, yeah, I recently took some time um, when I couldn't sleep because that's a thing now in my adulthood that I can't get much sleep for some reason my body just wants to wake up within like two to three hours four hours sometimes which really sucks but normally when i do wake up and i can't actually fall back asleep i will take that opportunity to try to catch up with any of the things that i have been behind on and one of those things was definitely the boruto manga unfortunately uh there's not going to be any reactions for the missing chapters that some of y'all might wonder where they might be so that much is obvious they're not gonna happen because i already read them and if you've been here long enough you should already know that i am definitely not one of those youtubers that fake reactions never been that way never will be so without further ado let's get right into it all right so this is chapter 67 rift oh yeah we starting things off with boruto and a hole in his freaking chest that's crazy this can't be happening boruto no did he actually kill him i mean he's gonna come back but like that's od if he, if he actually like dies like died died that's crazy Yeesh, this is totally unexpected i think this is beyond the yeesh code wasn't boruto supposed to be your previous or your precious divine tree sacrifice what are you gonna do now? Moving on, nothing else we can do. Who would have thought Kawaki would regain karma, much less kill Boruto? Don't take this the wrong way, okay? I have no intention of interfering with your goals, but I do need to say one thing. Don't you dare even think about using Kawaki for the sacrifice. I will not allow it, period. Oh, silence. Well, I can't give you a response to that right now. I'll head back. Let's talk it out. Okay, he said. You've really done it now, Kawaki. Killing my precious sacrifice. I have an urgent matter. I'm retreating temporarily. But remember this. Acquiring power won't change anything. You'll still never be free for your entire life. Someone will always be leading you around by the nose. That's the fate you bear. I know it well. So he kicks Shikamaru away. Later, we'll meet again. Oh, what happened? His, his little uh, portal zipper thing closed up. He said, what the? Sukuna. Hikona? He shrank my claw marks small enough that I can't use them to travel? Oh, that was Kawaki's doing. Okay. So he tried to make another one, and he, and he closed them up again. Seems you don't get it. You're in no position to arrogantly talk about other people's fates. Code. I'll eliminate anyone threatening Lord Seven's life. Even my bro. So what makes you think I'd let you get away? Dang, he got, did he have some new eye jutsu? This dojutsu, what's going on here? Coach trying to swipe him. Kawaki just blocks him and decks him in the face. No way. I'm being completely overpowered. This is bad. So Shikamaru uh, notices Naruto uh, at Boruto. Naruto, Boruto, come on, open your eyes, Boruto. This can't be, damn it, Boruto. Naruto, you okay? Pull yourself together. Shikamaru, am I, am I dreaming this? He's even come out of sage mode. Uh-oh. Shikamaru says, Naruto, I know you're in pain, but the battle's not over yet. This didn't really happen, right? Tell me this is all a lie. Shikamaru's trying to snap him out of it. But and the, at the same time, though, Code and Kawaki are just going at it. Kawaki's got the upper hand against Code. Code getting away would be a big problem. Let's help Kawaki take him down. Naruto. Yo, Naruto is not paying any mind to Shikamaru right now. Snap out of it. You're the Hokage, remember? Porto chose this himself to protect the rest of us. This is no time for you to lose your grip. Damn. Shikamaru was speaking facts, but I mean, it is kind of hard, you know, seeing your freaking kid die in front of you. Shit, I would hate for him to see she could die, go through the same thing, right? So Code recognizes that at this rate, I'm going down. And to Kawaki of all people, mm, this person who wants to meet me, I don't know their motives. But if they're against Lord Seventh, no matter, no mercy for them either. But you're first. Damn, he just gave him some crazy big freaking explosion jutsu in his face. Oh no, what the? What happened? Why Kawaki get blown away? Oh, this freaking kid came out. He must have deflected it or something. Code. He just pulled Damon through without warning huh where am i sorry to have woken you damon but i'm saved thanks to your reflecting ability damn that's that's crazy what the who's that kid hey you fighting code who's the enemy i'll crush him for you no no it just wrapped up 
You can go home, Damon. We'll talk later. Oh, huh, boring. You're doing as you please. An awful lot, Code. And Kawaki better be okay. I'll have you know if anything should happen to him, you'll be certain to regret it. Oh, so he made a zipper. Now he's checking his pulse. Relax, Ida. Your prince is alive. Oh, good. But it's really you who can breathe easy, Code. For had your answer been different, I'd have sent Damon back over in order to dispose of you. I don't like this one bit, but I have to give it to you. Looks like I don't stand a chance against you right now, Kawaki. I gotta get my limiters removed. You're gonna restore my true power to me, Amato. Oh, is that so? So he ran off. Guarding Kawaki, we need to consider how we're gonna deal with him. Consider? What do you mean, says Naruto. Shigemaru says, come on, he killed his own comrade. Even given the situation, he didn't hesitate at all. What Kawaki did wasn't his fault alone. Shigemaru says, maybe not. Sooner or later, we might not have had any other choice but this to deal with momoshiki's power however what i see as the biggest issue here is that he'll do whatever it takes for the sake of his goals that's what today has made crystal clear so then what you suggesting we drive him off because he's too much for us to handle no we have the other villages to consider i don't plan to abandon our responsibilities but that's why we need to think hard about what we're gonna do. Uh, and then Shikamaru goes on to say, there will likely be backlash within Kanoa too. There have already been negative reactions to him. It's true. And Naruto says, Boruto considers Kawaki a brother. He's practically a part of our family. No matter what he does or what anyone says, if his family can't stand by him at a time like this, who's gonna take his side? Max Shikamaru. He says, is that how you truly feel, Naruto? Even now, you can really, in your heart, think of him as family? He says, stop it. He killed your son. Oh, Shikamaru laying down the facts, though. And Naruto goes, enough! Oh, Boruto not dead? He raised up his hand and gripped. He, like, clenched his fist. He said, who was killed? <laughs> <laughs> Naruto was like... Shikamaru surprised too. What? Boruto literally sits up by himself. Ooh, wow. Naruto, like, Boruto? That's rude, writing me off like that. Uh, but then Naruto started crying. Ah, uh, yeah. I, uh, that was a close call right there. No way. That's impossible. I know he was dead. He had a, ga a gaping hole in his chest. And it looked like it healed right up real quick. What's that? Yeah. It's not there. He's literally chilling. Oh, is he seeing something that they cannot see right now? Cause he, he, I think he, he's got one of the Otsutsukis in front of him right now. Yo, check this shit out. Look at this. Boom. Oh, the loss of my vessel will result in my soul's instant instinct extinguishment. Just like in Ishiki's case, in addition to being a recept, uh, a what? A recept for one's soul a vessel also serve as its anchor to the world of the living you're my soul priceless vessel i can't afford to lose you for my own sake the wounds healed what did you do part of your heart and lungs were destroyed and you lost a large amount of blood you would have died of course had i not interfered are you okay pull yourself together wow so he just he just healed him i resuscitated you using part of the karma wow as you know your karma contains all of me in data form compressed. About 82% had already been extracted and diffused into your body. My resurrection would finally become possible once the remaining 18% finished extracting. But regrettably, not if my vessel itself were to get destroyed beforehand. So I had no choice but to rewrite the last 18% into your data so that the cells and tissues you lost could be fabricated anew damn he's got this new this new freaking i'm telling you people can shit on boruto all they want but i'm telling you there's gonna be people that are gonna get tattoos that look exactly like this bro because this this kind of looks fire i'm not even gonna lie i mean i wouldn't do all the face stuff but you know like the rest of this this kind of looks heat i'm not even gonna lie in short you used parts that were meant for your body to revive me precisely Unfortunately, you taking away 18% of my data has made it impossible for me to resurrect. I see. In that case, I guess I win since my resolve to die has managed to prevent your resurrection. Don't get too excited, lad. The reason why I'm talking to you 
is to impart a warning. Uh oh, huh? There's always a catch. Rewritten or not, it started off as Otsutsuki data originally. So there's no chance in the fact that all 100% of the Otsutsuki data has finished extracting, which means you are now a pure, genuine, complete Otsutsuki. And that signifies only one thing. You are ready to be sacrificed to the Ten Tails. Code will soon realize this soon. You're saying I could get fed to that monster at any moment? Fine. It saves me the trouble of having to hunt him down. Quit the cocky act. Bear in mind, your return to life is no, is not an event that will ever be repeated. You will stay dead next time. You once said to me, beware, those blue eyes shall eventually take everything from you. I've died once. Is that what you meant by take everything from you? Ha 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 ha. No, this has nothing on that. So hold on, those blue eyes, is he referring to his dad? Because Naruto has blue eyes. I just thought of that. And why that will come to pass, even I cannot see. But it'll be soon. The time draws near. It shall be a true spectacle, lad. <laughs> the model is being protected right in the middle of Konoha, where you don't have a single claw mark. How will you get near him? Don't you worry. I've already taken measures. He probably put a mark on Shikamaru or something. All right, and that's the chapter. Boom. Wow, man. Not gonna lie, this chapter of Borto was, it was crazy. I'm, and to even further that, I really think the last, like, arc of Borto has really been fire. Me, personally, I can't really say on how I think the general anime manga community feels about boruto currently i personally haven't seen any opinions good or bad so i'm not sure if the lack there of people talking about it is you know a good or bad thing but again i just haven't been exposed to any of those opinions or lack thereof but i'm gonna say personally i think boruto is fire i never thought it wasn't and i always thought that it was a great way and a great showing of how to pretty much continue a story that was originally like meant to be finished you know if it's so popular and obviously because that's just how business works you have something that is very popular and it makes a lot of money why stop until you know you just milk it dry essentially but in this case they managed to i guess make a pretty dope story uh this this far along and uh you know maybe get a sense that we might be at like some kind of halfway point with this story because if I remember correctly, they already uh, revealed long ago, like this is a few years back, they have intentions of making this story around between like 30 and 40 volumes, like 30 something volumes is essentially what they said. That's a lot of, you know, chapters and a lot of content right there. And since this is a monthly series, Boruto is going to be around for a while. I just hope you guys realize that, right? Like to just give you some perspective, Attack on Titan, also another monthly series that obviously is has been finished for quite some time now, only has, you know, but so many chapters. It has literally like under 200 and it's been around for a long time. That's like the benefit, I guess, of having, you know, a monthly series. It, it feels like its longevity is like way more so than something that's like a we in weekly serialization. Either way, I thought the chapter was dope. I knew that Boruto wasn't going to die. I'm like, there's no way. Like, they can't just do that. But I think the way he was revived is res sort of resuscitated in this in this case. And how the fact that he's now a, 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 like he's a 100% Otsuzuki now, I think that's pretty freaking sick. I wasn't expecting that at all. You know, obviously that kind of had, that has been, been part of the story for a very long time. That's kind of like what they've incorporated. And I really do think that Boruto should definitely get a lot more praise than what it might, you know, already get because it, it really added a bunch of layers to the overall Naruto verse from what we originally understood. It's like, it, it's, it's a, it's way more low key intergalactic. And it's not just like all based on within that, you know, planet. It, it is far extended out towards you know all the things that you know we've been learning with with you know how the otsutsuki works and all that kind of stuff so i thought that was really cool and uh, i guess we're gonna see how the next phase uh, you know with this next chapter however however long it takes for code to infiltrate konoha so that amato can unlock his limiters because now 
if that ever happens the next time these these guys meet it's it's someone's definitely gonna be dying and i do want to know exactly who or what ishiki is referring to when he originally told naruto that you know to be careful that that warning about the blue eyes it will take everything from you was he referring to his dad I gotta start looking at people's eyes now because everything's in black and white anyway. So, I, I, does Kawaki got blue eyes? It's either Kawaki or Naruto. That's my guess. But either way, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this this month's chapter in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, me on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links are gonna be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself. May the power protect you. Keep it locked with it right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.